Hey everyone, Nick DeRobert is here teaching you financial modeling. And today we're gonna to talk about building a basic model in both Excel and Python. In this first video in this series, we're just going to introduce the basic model and talk about the structure before we dive into actually implementing that model in Excel and Python in the following videos. So let's go ahead and look at what we're talking about with this basic model. So really the focus here is that we want to get just familiar working in both Excel and Python. And for the first part of the course, uh, we're gonna just do everything, uh, the same things in both Excel and Python. So you can get a good feel for both of the tools. Um, and then in the future, we're going to go to actually combining Excel and Python um, and get more into you know, how you should be choosing which of those tools you're using to solve a particular problem. Um, so the problem that we're gonna look at uh, to model is uh, intentionally very simple. It's basically the simplest finance problem out there, just a time value of money problem. And I've chosen this problem because it lets us not focus very much on the actual uh, content of the model. Everyone should know basically what's involved uh, with the calculations. We're just gonna focus on how you actually implement that in each of these two tools and how we uh, make that a model rather than just doing a single calculation. So, uh, you know, for this kind of problem, um, you may have used a calculator in the past, um, thinking about um, a retirement problem. How much, uh, how soon can someone retire given that they are earning a certain amount, saving a certain amount, um, and they have a certain amount of cash that they need to be able to retire. Um, so this is kind of the traditional, uh, you know, five keys on the financial calculator. Uh, for those that are familiar with those, um, you know, that type of problem. So it's certainly very easy to do on a calculator, but we're going to look at how to actually build a model for this. And so just to quickly break down what this model looks like. Um, so again, going back to this um, idea that a model is just a representation of a real world process. Um, and the real world process here is that this individual is saving, uh, they have wages coming in, they save a certain amount of that, and then they invest that money at a certain uh, rate of return up until they reach uh, however much cash they want to have. And that's going to tell us what the number of years is. Um, so in the model of this, uh, we're gonna bring in you know, the, the wages, the, the cash coming from the wages, um, you know, involving the savings rate, we got to use the savings rate to determine how much actually um, cash is going to be coming into the investment portfolio each year. Uh, and of course, we need the interest rates to determine how much is going to be earned on these investments. And then the model is taking those inputs and converting that ultimately into the years until retirement. So that's the basic model. And in the next video, we're going to look at how we can implement this basic model in Excel. Thanks for listening.